Welcome to Life Journey. Glory Church. I'm your host, the Alpha First. The reason why I'm making this video because people are ignorant of Revelation in the 20th chapter, verse 13 through 15. And the reason why they're ignorant of this these verses is because they believe that hell does not exist. They believe that hell is on earth. And by you being a, a Christian, by you going to the cemetery, this I'm excuse me, seminary, you are believing that hell does not exist. But I got good news for you and bad news. The good news is you don't have to go to hell. Yes, the bad news is you don't have to go to hell because the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. The bad news is the place that you don't believe that exists is the place that you are going one day because you dismiss it. Yes, the place that you ignored is the place that you're going one day because you dismiss it. There's a place called hell and a lake of fire. And by you being a Christian, you in an organization that don't believe in the existence of hell. Jesus Christ preached 40, 41 times more about hell in the book of Matthew. And I found a lot of people don't read the book of Matthew because Matthew preach about Jesus Christ being king. Hey, glory to God. So if by you not believing in the existence of hell, you're going to end up in hell. Yes, I said it. If you don't believe in the existence of hell, you are going to hell because your organization don't teach you or preach about hell. You think hell is on earth. Excuse me, excuse me. Hell is not on earth. Let me go deep, deep, deep into the subject. Hey, glory to God. The Bible talk about the rich man and the poor man, Lazarus. And both men died. That's in Luke, the 16th chapter, verse 16, 19, and 31. Which means no churches I've ever heard preach on this subject. I'm talking about churches organization. I'm talking about Seventh-day Adventists. I'm talking about Jehovah's Witness. I'm talking about Mormons. I'm talking about the Church of Reform, Church of Glory to God, of David Pack, Unification Church, Scientology. These places don't preach about hell. Because I think hell is on earth. Well, excuse me, hell is, glory to God, enlarging herself every day, and people are going to hell. Carlton Pearson, hey, glory to God, say that God is, is a loving God. God don't send people to hell. People, people decide not. People don't, don't want to go to heaven, so they're going to hell. People don't want to be holy, so they're going to hell. People don't want to do what the Bible says, so they're going to hell. People don't want to live holy and righteous, so they're going to hell. There's a place called hell. And guess what? By you not believing it, by you dismissing it, you go into a place that you diss. Hey, glory to God, you diss it, so you go and you can't miss it because you diss it. Yes, my friend, hell is real. And if you don't believe hell is real, you're going to end up in there and, and to experience it. I know hell is real. And guess what? I don't want to experience it. I don't want to go there. I want to go to heaven. But you being a carnal Christian, you believe that hell don't exist. If you don't believe that hell don't exist, you are carnal. But if you believe that heaven and hell exist, you are spiritual. You are of the meat of the word, and you're not of the milk of the word. Are you a Pharisee? Are you a scribe? Hallelujah. Are you a carnality? Because if you're carnal, you can't discern the thing that are carnal because they're, they're spiritual discern. Do you believe in hell? It's time for you to believe because if you don't believe it, the Bible says, he that believes and baptized shall be saved. He that believes and not shall be damned. It's time for you to believe in existence 
of hell.